Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my darling sisters welcome to my second video in the Muslima motivation series this is your sister Ikra from Brisbane Australia and welcome to Muslima mind matters um, I hope you're doing really really well now today I wanted to quickly talk about affirmations you may have noticed that on the Facebook page I have placed an affirmation a list of affirmations in relation to our own self-talk in a lot of different situations that we go through in life I know that as a child you know things happen around us and you know things happened in our lives with people in situations and we tend to embrace certain beliefs about ourselves and then those beliefs keep playing up in our minds and they become our self-talk so the way to unlearn those negative beliefs that often govern our negative responses to situations uh, or negative reactions to situations, we need to unlearn them and um, reaffirm to ourselves the positive things that Allah has blessed us with in our lives. Okay, so um, when I say positive affirmations, I'm talking about you know how when you um, are focusing on a certain thing and you say, oh, I really don't want this in my life. When you say that, I don't say, for example, you say, um, I don't want to have um, uh, trust issues. I don't want to have abandonment issues. I don't want to have anger in my life. When you say I don't want, that's not actually a, a positive affirmation. That's still a negative affirmation. So focus on what you do want like when you go to a restaurant do you order uh, do you look at the menu and tell the waiter i don't want the chicken soup i don't want um this i don't want no you tell the waiter what you do want right so with yourself tell yourself what you do want because allah has already created beautiful things to come to you and to for you to lead a joyful life but when you start operating in a vibration that is that is negative when your self-talk is negative um, then you're not even seeing the signs of abundance and positivity and joy uh, that Allah has placed in your life you're actually blocking it because you're so negative um, in your in your self-talk so let's change that um, I've had to struggle years and years with this um, because I operated in negative self-talk myself I thought I was um, no good with my body um, I, I thought I was really fat and ugly it was something that was told to me as a child you're fat you're ugly um, you're an ugly duckling and then later on in life I, I realized you know all these things actually started playing up in my mind that I wasn't good enough because I looked a certain way. No, it's not true. Okay, so I'm going to run through a few situations, right? And um, and then um, we can talk about, um, you know, the positive affirmations that come with it. I'm going to um, do it quite quickly because I don't want this video to be really long. And I've put these affirmations on the Facebook page for you. So I'm actually looking this way because I'm looking at my laptop. So forgive me if I'm not making eye contact and just know that I still love you. Okay, so uh, briefly, my, my eyes will gaze at my laptop so that I'm reading what I'm telling you. So in a situation where people compliment someone in front of you, um, say, for example, you know, your husband is complimenting another lady um for her beautiful cooking and you know the sense of insecurity or jealousy sometimes evokes you now what what do you say about that to yourself or it could be your parents you know um oh something's happened with my laptop it could be your parents saying something to um other people's children and you feel a bit left out or about other siblings and you feel a bit left out so what do you say so the affirmation that i say to myself is i am unique allah has blessed me um, Allah has blessed every creation with their unique abilities. I am enough because I am Allah's creation. Yeah, beautiful, right? I am unique. Allah has blessed every creation with their own unique abilities. I am enough because I am Allah's creation. Now, second one is when I struggle financially. Allah is a razak That's your affirmation. Allah is a razak Only Allah provides my sustenance. Everything I need, Allah provides immediately. Third one, 
when I struggle with my body image, and that's something I've had to struggle all my life, uh, even now it creeps in. Allah has blessed me with optimum health. I am a soulful being dwelling temporarily in this body. Every salah I pray, my body re-energizes with faith and well-being. I am a beautiful creation of Allah. If there's a situation where when I feel I do not deserve compliments or monetary rewards for my services, for my efforts, and I struggle with that a lot. I don't know how sometimes how to ask for, um, you know, uh, or invoice my clients because I somehow feel I'm, I'm um, inconveniencing them. So um, this is what I say to myself. I am worthy of rewards. I work hard and Allah knows my efforts. He rewards me for my efforts. I accept wholeheartedly whatever he has ordained for me to receive as payment for my services. Because after all, it is Allah who provides, right? Yes, you have clients or you may have, you know, your employer, but ultimately Allah provides. He is a razak. So affirm to yourself that he is a razak. Now, in a situation when I don't have as much as my other friends or family members so that's a situation where you are you know comparing your life with others and we're we're only human we do that we often compare our, our lives with other people's and we think that their lives are better than ours when really it's just a false perception we're creating yeah it may not be true because like i said in yesterday's video or in the first video we don't know what battles um are being fought by those people that you're comparing yourself to so be real, be honest with yourself, and the way to not compare would be to tell yourself, Allah provides me with comfort and ease. I accept wholeheartedly and gratefully all that Allah provides for me and my family. I embrace Allah's abundant blessings in my life. Yeah, I, I really like this one because it is Allah who provides and it is the abundant blessings that he has blessed us with, yeah? Um, okay, now when I feel I lack skills or aptitude, a lot of the sisters I, uh, I have as my clients, this seems to be a very common problem. They don't want to um, go further in life because they feel that they, they lack their abilities or they lack confidence or aptitude or even skills. So the affirmation I use is, I have a mind with unlimited potential. Allah gives me knowledge intelligence, reason, and creativity. Allah helps me in every task I perform that is good for me and my deen. Yeah, so these are just some situations, very common ones, and some affirmations for you. Please try and say them as often as possible. Now, these affirmations in no way replace our salah, our dhikr, and our dua. These affirmations are an addition to um, what we do as a Muslimah. So we pray, we, we make our salah, we make dua, and we make our dhikr. And on top of that, you challenge your negative perceptions by reaffirming positive affirmations. Have a wonderful day. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And stay tuned in for the rest of the, you know, Muslimah motivation series. Inshallah, you have a wonderful day. And I'll speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.